Hi everyone, it's Lori. Thanks for joining me for a video on my channel today. I appreciate you being here. Today I'm working in my art journal and please forgive this. This is a little bit blurry and out of focus, but only for a minute here. I had to leave it on, otherwise I would have cut off the whole beginning of the video. So what I'm doing here is I started drawing some circles here with just a pencil and I'm using this little stencil here. And I'm going to um, show you a picture here of the paints that I'm going to use today. And there I'm just using this wedge here to make the lines in that orange paint there. So this is much clearer. Thanks for bearing with me for just a second there. So the colors and um, paints I'm going to put down in the description box for you as well. So I did speed this video up because it, otherwise it would be a very long video and I want to try to keep the video length down a little bit on this one today for your sake. And as you can see, I'm like I said, I'm using those paint colors. I'm using various paint brushes and wedges and things like that, scrapers. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to assist you if you had any questions or if I forgot to leave something out have a question on a tool I'm using anything like that and so basically this was me in my art journal and what I do in my art journal is sometimes I actually make paintings that come out to my liking other times I use my journal for experimenting and for just playing in relaxing things like that so here I was trying out some new colors together, a new color combination, trying to see if I like them together, how they work together, things like that. I'm also um, trying to see if I can come up with an idea for a new series in my paintings um, where they're going to be larger paintings. They're probably going to be like 12 by 12 panels, I think. And I wanted to see if some of these colors might be something I'd be interested in using. And here I'm using Golden's Quinacridone Magenta, and I want to create some drips here. And it was a little bit on the thick side, so I placed a rag here underneath my journal, and I'm just spraying it with some water. I love drips. I love them so much. <laughs> I have so much fun with them. Sometimes I get them where I don't want them. So here I'm just trying to uh, clean up a little bit in a certain area that I don't want the drips to be in. I'm just using my pencil here to make a quick mark in the wet paint and then I'm going to try to dry up some of this water because like I did um, explain I had to spray it with some water to get my drips flowing a little bit and it's a little bit too wet still so I'm going to use my blow dryer blow dry this really quick and this here is a black stabilo that I'm using here stabilos are fun but you have to be careful with them um, because the water will activate them and they'll smudge all over the place. <laughs> if you don't want that kind of mess, then be careful when you use them or avoid them. I like to use these scrapers sometimes, kind of like they act as like a ruler, so to speak. It's like, um, gives me a nice straight edge in certain areas. I like that look sometimes. So I'm putting that down there and it looks like this is probably a combination of titanium white and that viridian mixed together because it sort of looks like a light blue. And um, I'm just making some marks here with the end of my paintbrush as I go along. I do that a lot um, and I use other things too. Um, you can use all sorts of things to make marks in paintings. Um, you saw me use a pencil, I use the end of my brush. Sometimes I even have a plastic palette knife that broke and I save that as well. And I use that to make marks. I just use all sorts of found objects as well. It's so much fun because you really never know what something might give you for a mark. And I really love that. They're kind of like little surprises. 
And what happened here is I added some of that light blue up at the top there. It might have even just been white, but I think it was a light blue and I didn't like it. So I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm spraying water on it. I'm doing everything I can to get rid of it. I'm scraping some lines through it, um, wetting it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Didn't like that at all. So I was getting rid of it. And now I'm going to go over this part here. looks like I'm making this more of a green color. And now I've taken out another stencil to use here and I'm adding some of this here with um, pink to the top corner and I'm using the reverse stencil here as well down in this lower portion. And I did dry that a little bit with my blow dryer again and looks like I'm trying to get this back to be a little bit more blue rather than green. I don't like the way the green sits in this painting much. I don't mind a little bit of it, but I don't want it all to be green, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm kind of going over the edges again with my Stabilo and making marks. Oh, I'm using my pencil here, just drawing, making marks, random, random things. That's the beauty of my way I paint. I just do things randomly as I feel. Very intuitive painting. This was not planned whatsoever. None of it is planned. I just paint as I go. Here I am adding more green. <laughs> as you will see in just a moment, I hated it. <laughs> so I started to remove that. So I grabbed my Stabilo pencil again. I'm gonna add some contrast into this painting here. I'm starting to get to the point where I start to think a little bit about um, value and composition and things like that at this point. And now I've gone ahead and grabbed a stencil again. And in this point, I'm trying to see if I can get some of that paint um, actually lifted up off the page. So if you watched any of my other videos, <laughs> you've known for a while that I tend to paint a lot with my fingers. I am always touching the paint and moving it around and doing things and sometimes even making marks with my fingernails and things like that. <laughs> if you have not watched any of my other videos, well, welcome. Thanks for being here with me. I hope you are finding this inspiring and I hope you subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'd appreciate that. Please do share the video if you know someone that might benefit from it. And if you could hit the like button, I would love that. That would appreciate I would appreciate that so much. That would help me out on my YouTube channel. It would help other people find my videos as well. And that means a lot to me. I thank you for that. And it appears here that I've added some magenta up to that corner there and I'm just uh, making more drips. And I like the way that mixes together. I like in these colors a lot. I don't like the green part, like I said. Might be a bit more green than I'm liking. But overall, I do like it. I'm wondering if maybe like um, a turquoise or something would look better than that Viridian paint. I'm not sure, what do you think of these colors? I would love to hear your feedback. 
that always um if that is always helpful for me and um i'd appreciate that do you like this viridian blue green color or do you think like a turquoise or something would look better i'm wondering if the turquoise would pop more i don't know i'm kind of thinking that as i go along here watching this replay of the video but that's the beauty of the art journal it allows me to do things like this and if I like it, I like it, which is great. And if not, I've learned a lot from it as I go. So it's not a total loss by any means. It's always a learning process. And this is why one of the reasons I love to work or play in my journals here a lot. I, I try to do it daily if I can, even if it's only, you know, 20 minutes a day or something like that. It's very helpful. So I've been looking at this and I'm looking at that top right corner and I decided that needed to go. I didn't like it. It was too busy for me. I wasn't feeling it. I felt like it was just too much going on there. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> and I do have an update in case you didn't notice my channel as well as my business name and my website and everything else connected to me online for my online presence has now been updated. So I am no longer known under Pizzazz Studios, which was a business name that I've had for many years. I've decided to let it go and I've updated it and it was a lot of work behind the scenes. It literally took, you know, a few days to get it all done. But now Lori McKinnon Art is the name of my YouTube channel. And thank you for being me with me throughout my art journey. It has been very interesting. If you look back through my videos, you'll see that I started out as a fluid art painter. I started with uh, paint pouring and things like that. And I worked my way into now I'm doing abstract type paintings and I'm really enjoying this. I'm feeling like I'm really, really, really uh, finding myself here in my artwork. And it's been a lot of fun along the way. I appreciate everyone who stuck with me and by me and supported me. It means so much to me. And if, like I said, if you're new here, please subscribe. And I'd appreciate that as well. Leave a comment if you have a channel as well. I'll subscribe back. I'd love to support you as well on your art journey. And so all that information goes from my social media account as well. They're all updated as well. I'll leave links to everything down below in the description box. And I'm just about finished with this for today. This was my... Uh, I, well, what happened here is, let me just explain. I'm using the stabilo here just at the end. And I added a few more marks and things like that. Not much more, but then I think my um, phone must have ran out or something because it stopped recording. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished piece now. So this is pretty much it. But like I said, there's a few more mark making and that's about it. But this is the end results. Thanks again for joining me. Hope to see you very soon and have a wonderful day and a great evening wherever you're watching from. Take care now. Bye-bye.